Hi guys, so today I'm going to do my August favorites for the month of August, in case you didn't know. And I cannot believe it's like the end of summer and we're getting into all the fall decor, like up at Walmart and Target and everywhere has fall decor out right now. So I think next week I'm going to do a video on all the fall decor that I get, or like Halloween-ish sort of stuff I guess you could say too. But yeah, so I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my favorites. There's not that many. There's only like a couple, so it shouldn't take me that long to get through them all. But the first ones I always do is like my beauty favorites, sort of first. So this is a this is the um pocket pack hand sanitizers by um, Bath and Body Works, and I had the I have so many of these that I literally like have like a basket full of these so this one i have is called donuts about you and this is what it looks like it's like a little donut with hearts on it. i might have gotten this for valentine's day maybe i don't know and it's like a bluish sort of um thing and it really does smell like a donut like it really does it smells like a dunkin donuts donut sort of so the next favor I have, I got this at the Dollar Tree, and this was like this when they had out summer stuff, and I think it was for like Mother's Day 2 or something, I don't know. But um, this is called, the this is the April Bath and Shower Aloe Hibiscus and Exotic Mango Scented Body Lotion, and this is what it looks like. And it doesn't smell a lot like mango it smells more like hibiscus and it doesn't have one of those like click on caps so you have to actually like do it by hand and stuff it does it smells more like hibiscus more than mango and the one thing i have to say though is that it, it's really thick so if you do buy like lotion at the bot that at <laughs> if you do buy lotion at the dollar tree or something it is really, it's thicker than real, like, it's not, it's thicker than regular lotion, like, you would get at, like, Bath and Body Works or Walmart or Target or something, so you only need, like, a little bit of it instead of, like, tons of it, and it really, it does, it does make your skin feel moist, I feel like, unless, like, you're one of those people that don't think that, but, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it's, like, it's really good, it's really good, just saying. I don't think, I don't know if they still have that scent anymore. But if they do, you should get it. So the next I have is, is my skin is really sensitive to, um, body washes. So I have to, cha I usually change it every once in a while just to see if it does anything different to my skin. And this is dermato dermatologist recommended. It's the Dove body wash and it's Go Fresh Revive Body Wash Nat Naturum, ugh, Naturum Moisturizer, Pomegranate and Lemon ver Verbena Scent. I think that's how you say it. And this is what it looks like. I did use another one, and the first one I used was, like, Cocoa Butter or something like that. And it didn't smell that great. But this one does. This one smells, I can't, I can't smell the lemon in it. But I can smell the pomegranate. The pomegranate one smells the best so far out of all of them. So if you do have a problem with, like, sensitive skin or, like, you might have oily skin or breaking out sort of skin where you get them, like, pimples, like, all over your body, not just your face, it really does help with this stuff. And it really does work. I mean, my skin feels better. Like, it feels, when I use this, it feels so much lighter than anything else like all the other um stuff that i've used like oh i mean olay is good too if you have like sensitive skin like me but the other ones like dial or i don't know the other ones that i've used i know i have dial and there's another one that i used that doesn't smell they, they smell good but then your skin gets dry and stuff but with this one it feels moist for like the whole day you use it so the next two perfumes I have, um, this one I got at Bath and Body Works. This one was $14. I don't know if they have this scent anymore. I got this, I don't even know, like, what kind of season I got this from. But, um, this is called French Lavender and Honey. And it really does smell like lavender and honey. That's basically what it smells like. It smells really good. I guess there's, like, 
some kind of like poppy sun in it because I don't think lavender looks like that. Like this red flower. I think it's a poppy, but I'm not sure. But it does smell really good. I like this scent. It's like sort of like a mellow scent. It's like it's not a strong scent and it's it's like it's not a strong scent, so you're not getting like a really like overpowering power, scent. It's just like a calming scent because lavender is supposed to like calm you down and everything and relax you and it really does it has like a calming effect it's like a soft if you know what I mean like a softer scent like a transitional scent from like summer to fall sort of like that if you're one of those people that like change their um perfumes up like I do every season so next one I have I got this for Christmas and I love One Direction you guys I love them and I never got their like I'm not a person like that gets like everything that they make but um this is like I found this this was at a Walmart that was like an hour and a half away from me and like I found this for like you know how like uh for I can't talk today when they have their Christmas stuff out and they have like the boxes of like perfumes and like they have the knock their knockoff versions and stuff. Well, this is Walmart's knockoff version. I don't know what perfume it's the knockoff of. I don't I don't really know. So this is just called Just Us and it comes in this little bottle and it came with like a big bottle, a little bottle, and then like a roll-on sort of like perfumish sort of thing. And I just used this because I wanted to use it before next Christmas because that's how I just do things. And it smells good. Like the thing that's really weird is that the Just Us and the French Lavender and Honey sort of go together perfectly because they both have like a sort of similar scent to it. I can't describe what the Just Us smells like. I think it's supposed to, I think it smells like, it's like a flowery sort of, a flow, flowery sort of scent mixed with like, I don't even know. But yeah, I came in like this glass um, bottle and it just looks fancy. And I think that that was only like five dollars maybe for the whole set. Which probably, if you just buy their scent, it's probably just, probably like $20 or something. I don't know. So the last favorite that's not random is the Yankee Candle Vanilla Cupcake. We haven't gone to Yankee Candle in a really long time. And we really do because we need some new um, candles for, we have to swap them out and get fall candles. But I, I did get a fall candle at Walmart, and I'm going to do it in my fall decor video. But I was like, I don't want to light it up yet, because it's not fall yet. So why would you want to put a pumpkin out, pumpkin candle out now to light up later? I don't know. But um, this is what it looks like. And my mom picked this candle out. There was like a deal. I think I say this in all my videos. There was like a deal where like... You could buy, like, all the different sizes, and you get, like, one free. So, it's like, a small, medium, a really big one, and a bit, a large one. So, she really likes vanilla candles better than, like, anything that's, like, her signature scent, I guess you could say. Or her favorite scent. So, yeah, so that's not mine. That's actually my mom's, but, um, still a favorite video. I like it. It smells really good. So, my book favorites, I've read one series, plus, I think, no, maybe I didn't read any other books besides this series, but this is the only series I've read for the month of August, and it's a V.C. Andrews series, it's called, a V.C. Andrews series, it's called the Cutler series, and there's five books in the series, and the last one is a prequel to the whole entire book, to the whole entire series, so this is what it looks like, this is Dawn. I'm not going to, like, go through, like, a detailed series, like, review, because we're going to do a review on the series anyway later on. This is called Secrets of the Morning. This, this is the third one. It's called Twilight's Child. Midnight Whispers. That's the fourth book, and it's, like, the longest one out of the whole series. It's the longest one. And the last one is called Darkest Hour, and I think the Darkest Hour one was the one that almost made me cry, and I am not a crier when it comes to reading books, like, I don't cry. Oh, 
almost, the Darkest Hour one almost made me cry. It was, like, the saddest part of the whole entire series, I think. So that was my favorites for the month of August. Come up below and tell me your favorites for the month of August. Or tell me anything that you want me to try and I'll do reviews on it. Um, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time with another video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.